hi how are you doing how's it going how's life I hope everyone's doing well I hope your kids are doing great and if you don't have kids in a classroom I hope you're doing great and your familia is doing great hey guys so I am back inside of my classroom today Yay! and I didn't vlog before to show you guys the hot mess that I had going on, but I did have a mess. I guarantee you that. You guys have seen my messy stuff that I've got going on. But anyways, so I have pretty much everything set up. There are my kids. Focus. There they are. Being bad as ever. I'm kidding. <laughs> They're good. They're good kids. And so I have my daily data up. My names are out for daily data. So that's done. Um, I have pencils that I'm giving out for Monday because they get new pencils on Monday. Or, well, they get new pencils tomorrow. I have their daily data question, which is super simple. Is did you turn in your green folder? You hear Blaine? So did you turn in your green folder? And I have my hearts. I'm still gonna use hearts this week for our counting jar. Look at the really pretty tulip somebody gave me for teacher appreciation. And then I got some more over here which were really pretty. Um, I have this halfway done. It's almost there. So we're talking about US symbols and we're gonna start um, listing some things that help tell us about US symbols. So we're going to create this anchor chart. I have my morning message up here. Um, everything's kind of sort of cleaned off. It doesn't look too hot of a mess. I got this taken down from my windows. So now my windows are nice and semi-nice. I don't know. So I think I'm pretty much ready tomorrow. It's pouring down raining. Like pouring raining. And it's been raining all day today. Um... I think I'm going to go to my mom's house to have dinner since my hubby's gone and I don't feel like cooking, especially when he's not here. I don't like to cook. There's no point unless it's something super simple. So she's making chili. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's really about it. So I just wanted to get it cleaned up. So now it's cleaned up. My chairs are down. I'm feeling better about it. So I get in tomorrow morning. So Blaine went to, goes to a new daycare now. Um, I had like a few too many issues happening with his daycare. So he goes to a new daycare now. Focus. He goes to a new daycare now. Um, and so his hours are better now. So I can drop him off as early as 6.30, which I typically don't drop him off until like 6. 45-ish, 6.50-ish, so that gets me to the school at about 7, which then gives me about 20, 30 minutes to get ready. Um, and it's great because last week he started daycare there, and I had morning duty. So I was getting to school at 7, so I had 15 minutes before I had to go to do my morning duty. So I had some prep time, which was really, really nice. Um, so yeah, so I'm feeling good, feeling good. I'm gonna show you guys these. I had one little kid that left his because he was rushing out the door and forgot it. So check out cute little Valentine bags that they made. So his little leg fell off. Ha <laughs> ha. And the legs are supposed to go underneath. But how cute are those, right? So we made those little Valentine's bags, which were precious. Um, I am going to go home, try to get a few more things done, and yeah, I will probably talk to you guys again a little bit later on. Hey guys, so it is, what day is it? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, and I haven't really vlogged very much since Monday. Actually, I don't think I've vlogged at all since Monday. So, it is now the end of the day. Sorry I have not been able to vlog in between my breaks, um, in between my breaks, during my breaks. That makes way more sense. But, I've had like a ton of conferences. Um, so the day, the days that I was out with my son, I was supposed to have a conference that, that Friday and it was like an all day conference where I had a sub and then um, my parents like scheduled a certain time so I, all I did was just conference that day or I was supposed to well I couldn't because Ian had strep so that got canceled and now I don't want to take any more days off because I can't take any more days off like 
you know when you just take so many days off in a month you're like oh my gosh I haven't done anything with my kids I really need to do stuff with my kids so that's just not gonna happen so I am in the middle of getting my stuff prepared for tomorrow so somebody had left me a really good comment about like how to prepare and do things so here's kind of one of my tips and I think I want to do like a, an entire post about this but something that you always want to make sure that you're doing is cleaning off your table and making sure that you have everything ready for the morning because let me tell you it's going to end up happening that your car breaks down that you get sick your kids get sick I don't know you blow a tire or traffic happens and you want to make sure everything is completely ready to go so that your kids can walk in and they can automatically get started on the day and they don't have to have you you know what I mean like they can come in and just run the classroom until you're totally there so that's what I'm doing so that consists of for me is so I take all my kids names um, and this is for their daily data up there and I spread their names out basically at my table I'm awful with turning the camera around. Um, so I spread out their names on the camera. Sorry if I'm not looking at you. I'm just gonna shut you down. And I'm just gonna do this real quick. Sorry guys. <clears throat> okay, so their names are down at their table or at my table my small group table so that's one of the things that they do when they come in the next thing I need to get done is I'm changing my daily data question and I don't do anything cute or fancy literally I you dry erase my little board that's up here um, so yeah okay so the question that I'm doing I'm in between presidents right now today's question was do you like Abraham Lincoln because it kind of went along with our writing if that makes any sense so, I have something in my mouth. I'm trying to get it out. Okay. So, today I'm going... Tomorrow's question will be... Um, oh, I hate that marker sometimes. Because sometimes I don't feel like my handwriting looks very nice. Would... You... Like... Oh. Do be president because our theme this week is President's Day and so yeah so our theme this week is President's Day and we're learning about American symbols so I'm doing that um, the next thing that I have to do is switch out my oh, this one's awful. Whatever these are, these little 3M ones, they are great at taking off a dry erase. Just saying. Uh, okay. Um, so our pattern that we're doing for our daily data is in shapes because we're doing shapes in math. So what do I want? Square circle circle whoops triangle square so that'll be their pattern um their counting jar number I had 19 18 17 16 take out three of them their number is three tomorrow bam that's done so they come in in the mornings they get unpacked they grab their daily data card they complete their daily data they do their counting jar and those are already on their tables can you see that so those are already on their tables and then they after they complete and count a jar they do an activity now we are like I look really tired and I am tired we are doing American symbols and we're doing um Abraham Lincoln and George Washington and in George Washington and Abraham Lincoln were writing opinions about them and then extending like giving more supports for their opinions on them so they're finishing up those but they also have to finish a lot of stuff for their American symbols so I found this unit oh my gosh guys it is the cutest thing ever so 
I have to finish coloring in my American symbols words. Those are not done. So yesterday we did the American flag and what's cool is that behind it they describe the American flag which is great for kindergarten. Then they have the Statue of Liberty so we talked about the Statue of Liberty, wrote down some things that we learned about it and then they're completing those. So when they come in after they finish their counting jar they're gonna have to just grab their work that is not finished um, and get busy because we have a lot. We've also been reading Duck for President in reading because we're focusing on reading literature and I am pairing this up with the standard of inferring unknown words. So I don't know if y'all can see that. When readers come to an unknown word they infer by using scheme and what the author and illustrator tells them. So we wrote down like a word, student definition, to be mad, upset, or angry, and then we got the clue from the illustration and we drew a picture with it. So we're going to continue that for the rest of the week talking about words, um, building up some of those really good two-tier words, tier two-tier, tier two words, um, but yeah. So then I just kind of run through my head because now at this point, you know, I think my first or second year teaching, I had a list of things that I needed to have done, but at this point, I just go through my head and think, what is it that they're gonna be doing? So they have everything ready for the morning. Now I'm ready to go. I pretty much have all my stuff done. So I can shut my lights off. And so, and that's your tip for trying to stay on top of things. At least make sure that your morning stuff is done and ready to go, guys, because your mornings are going to be your most hectic, hectic. For me, they are. I mean, I have two kids. You know, mornings can be really, really crazy for me. So it's super important for me that I make sure that everything's ready to go and it runs as smoothly as possible because you just never know when something's going to happen. <sighs> that was a mouth load, right? <laughs> so I talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, so it is Sunday night and um, it is pretty late. Husband is giving the little one a bath. The other one's gonna be getting ready to go to bed pretty soon. But I wanted to jump on because I'm awful about ending my vlogs. But I am so super excited about this and I can only contain myself like that much. So I have two different things for you. I am like all dolled up with makeup and it's starting to kind of run and stuff um, because I was super excited. I'm working with teach.com on a special article that's going to be coming out this week so you guys are going to be seeing something about that pretty soon and husband and I needed a headshot and I, I am not one to like to spend money on headshots so we went and just did it ourselves and they came out really good so I wanted to share some of these with you guys. Um, so here's my computer, if you guys can see. And, uh, can you guys see that? Check how great that picture was. Y'all can't even believe that's me. Like, for real. Like, who is this person? Like, that does not look like me. That's crazy. I can't believe my husband took these pictures. Like, it blows my mind. And we went to this gorgeous place. Um, and it was so, it's so pretty there, y'all. And it's like, I think it's like a, probably an architect building or company or something or another. But they have the most beautiful, like, grounds. Um, and yeah, so I am so excited that I have some really pretty pictures. Yeah, like, this is like a first for me. I don't think I've had, like, really pretty pictures since my wedding. Probably, I guess, would be my other pretty pictures. I don't do pictures very often because I don't like to do pictures very often. So, we did that today. Um, and I'm finishing up the little thing that I'm working with, teach.com. So, you guys are going to get to see that pretty soon. So, yeah. So, that was the first thing I had to tell you. Oh, and by the way. So, y'all, I must have the worst luck ever when it comes to vehicles. Because, of course, when we're there, dumb dumb me leaves the light on <laughs> and the battery dies woohoo so then I had to call my brother so he can come and jump us <sighs> it's just a never-ending story <laughs> okay this is the part that I'm so super excited about and I cannot believe I did this and I hope you guys really enjoy it and by the way this is not a hey go check my stuff out go buy my stuff because it's not I am super excited that I just actually accomplished this on my own and that you know I can share it with people and 
Um, so many of you have been like leaving requests and comments about having these editable documents and I'm so excited because I finally have one put up and I'm working on the other one this week and that's um, going to be coming hopefully next weekend. So here it is. Ta-da! It is the weekly planning checklist. So this is that checklist that I use to pretty much kind of plan my week. Um, this is my version. This is not the version that you guys will see. So it looks a little bit different. Anyways, um, so I comes with a little instructions page. Um, and then I give you a bunch of different types. Like they're all the same, but they're not the same, if that makes sense. So this one is for those people who want to insert their own here. And that's pretty simple just by going up to where it says text. You can hit your text. Mine just pops up because I have Keynote, so mine looks a little bit different. And you can move, you can drag it out to make it fit however you want it to fit. You can change your font. Um... So let's say I want to have poems here. I can change my font to whatever I want it to be. Y'all, I got lots of fonts. I like fonts. So, yeah, I can change my font. I can add a bullet if I want to add a bullet. So if you choose to do bullets, you can just make this your own. Now, you can also straight up just print it and then just write things in as you go if that's the way you want to do it. So here's the next one. So this one kind of looks a little bit more like the one that I have. And again, I give you all of my little headers here, like the to pull, the to plan, to do, to cut and copy, and then the miscellaneous. So on this one, this is for those of you guys who just want to print it out and write it in and just be done that way and not have to worry about filling it in because I know there are some people that want that. Now here's the editable part of it. So here it is and I know it's like whoa overload with inner text here But I wanted to make sure that I was making this as user-friendly as possible for you guys So here you could just double click and then type in poems and you can change the fonts to whatever you want it to be um, Here, let's see high frequency word snap ah, It says that um, And it keeps messing me up, okay um, anyway, so you get the idea. Um, let me just go back to how it used to be. There we go. So you can enter in whatever you want. Now let's say you have some extras down here that you don't want to enter in. Like let's say you're making this for a every week. You just want to have it done, printed out just like the way I do. Whereas, um, you know, I kind of make it a generic thing that I know the things that I'm going to be pulling and planning and that kind of sort of thing. And let's say you have some extra things here at the bottom. You can simply delete those there and then not have to worry about it. And let's say the next week you figured, oh man, I forgot to add this in there. You can easily click on one of them, copy it, paste it, and then drag it to where it needs to go. Same thing, paste it and drag it where it needs to go. I'm doing text boxes um, because I thought that they would be the most, the easiest things to manipulate. Um, I find text boxes extremely easy to manipulate, especially in PowerPoint. So this is going to be a PowerPoint document on um, Teachers Pay Teachers. So the next version I have is kind of a sample, one that's already filled in. Now you can simply just go through, click on it, and change it. You don't have to have this. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what mine looked like. And again, all these, you can simply just delete them so that you don't have the little text part in there. Um, so yeah, so that's the next one. The next one I have, now this one is a lot like the other one that I showed you, except this one, you can enter in your own headers. So let's say that this big one, you want it to be um, to copy instead of one of the smaller ones. You can definitely go and do that. So this one is where you can change that. And I give you a blank version as well where you can just change your header and have your own as well. So I try to make it as user friendly as possible, guys. I... Um, <sighs> I, I really hope you guys like it because I struggled for a very long time on how to uh, figure out how to get this up for for everyone because I know you guys really wanted this. Um, it's so useful for me every single week for me to have this and I absolutely love it. It keeps me on track. It keeps me on task. So I don't know why I'm sitting there just talking to the screen. Mm, I don't know. But 
I mean, this thing keeps me literally like Johnny on the spot. Like I'm pretty good about pulling everything and making sure it all stays clipped together like I showed you in my planning video. But that, I mean, it is a lifesaver. Now, I'm not saying go and purchase mine because there are so many other great people out there who have similar products. This is just the format that I like and it works for me. So, I will let you know that on my Teachers Pay Teachers, I'm going to keep this up on sale. I put it up for 20% off. I think I have it as a $3 yeah, I have it as $3, so it's on sale now for $2.40, $2.40. Um, so if you want it, I'm going to keep it up on sale until I put up my next vlog, which is going to be, you know, next Monday. You guys know that. So um, it'll be on sale pretty much all week, so you guys can go and grab that if you choose. Only if you choose. You don't have to. Super excited about that, about my headshots and about that. I'm going to be coming back to you guys telling you about what's happening with teach.com. So please stay tuned for that. I'm really excited about doing this with them. And I hope you guys have a really great week. It's going to be a great week. Always think that. Positive affirmations, right? I used to have this one um, professor. Oh my gosh, I loved her so much. And maybe she would see this one day. Um, but she would always make us say a positive affirmation every day to throw it out into the world and make it a great day. So let me think. I think I have those actually. That would be fun to put up, right? as like a little like free thing positive affirmations everybody can have that because I think I still have that from from my college my college days mm, uh, oh here we go today is a good day and I will be good in it so there's your positive affirmation for this week I want you to get up every morning and I want you to say today's a good day and I will be good in it or today's a great day and I will be great in it I like that one so much better did I say that the first time I can't even remember so today is a great day and I will be great in it say that every morning when you wake up make it a positive make it a fantastic day for you um, keep that energy up for those kids cuz bless we need as much energy as we could possibly get right um, and yeah let me know in the comments hmm what should the question be so I talked a lot about organization. So let me know in the comments, what is one way that you stay organized for the week? That's your question. So give me one thing that you do to help you stay organized for the week down in the comments below. So uh, I hope you guys have a really, really great week. If you enjoyed watching this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Sometimes I wonder if you guys really like watching these. I don't know. My life's not that interesting. Sorry. Um, but yes, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this vlog and I hope you guys have a really, really great week. I've probably said that five times. I'm really sorry. And yeah, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please, please. And thanks for watching guys. Bye. Welcome to my small group area. So this is where a lot of my instruction happens within my classroom. It's going to be where I spend the majority of my time.